for the sign of Capricorn, hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. So Capricorn, in the recent past, we got the Seven of Wands, and it's with the Eight of Swords. Now the Seven of Wands, it's showing that you could have found that in any sort of competitive situation that you came out on top, things should be going really well, you should be feeling really good. And any projects that you had, they were moving right along. But you probably still had some regular moments of self-doubt. It would have been the time to feel the fear and do whatever you needed to do anyway. Also, it would have been important for you not to hesitate to make where you stand clear to people. Because your thinking was clear at that time. And you were probably, or you would have helped someone out by spelling things out for them. Uh, Seven of Wands, it points towards being independent, thinking for yourself. Now, it's paired with this Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, it's showing that you might have held yourself back because you feared moving into the future. Or you could have been afraid or wary of getting hurt by a new situation. Or it could have been for no reason at all. Because if you see the Eight of Swords, the card that's below the word pass. That's the Eight of Swords. There's this huge fire that's behind this man. And it looks like he's caged himself in with these swords. But there's an opening right in front of him. So there's a fire coming behind him. It's, if there's a fire behind him, it's probably coming towards him. And he's just stuck there. He could easily put one foot in front of the other and run. But just afraid to move. So the truth of the situations, whatever type of fear that you had in the recent past, it was probably much less frightening than your mind was making it out to be. So basically with these two cards paired together, Capricorn for the recent past, Seven of Wands and Eight of Swords, it looks like you could have, I'm getting two storylines, you could have been stuck in your head about a person or a situation. That you wanted to win. You wanted to be the last man standing. You wanted to come out on top of everyone. Or you just wanted to be ahead of the game. You wanted to be the last man standing. And it caused you a lot of being stuck in your head. Or the other storyline I'm getting is that for a lot of you, you could have wanted to come out on top of a situation, be the last man standing in a, with a person or something you just wanted to succeed at. And you found that um, it was challenging and it just caused you to um, have too much going on inside your head. So that's kind of similar to, both storylines are pretty similar, but you can kind of switch it around a little bit and um, and it, it takes a little turn there. But anyway, stuck in your head because you really wanted something. You wanted to be a winner and it just caused you to have fear. You could have been afraid to take a chance and um, put one foot in front of the other because you maybe you were afraid of getting hurt by a situation, but you really wanted it. You really did, but you just kind of like held yourself back because you were afraid. But something that you really wanted bad in the recent past. Or this could have been someone that maybe someone wanted to win you really bad. Win the connection with you really, really, really bad in a good way. But they, they held themselves back. Yeah, different storylines here. The person that you were dealing with, they didn't move forward with you because they could have been afraid of getting hurt by the connection. So just take it for whichever way resonates with you. These are personal. These are not personal readings. They're general readings. So you have to take it for however it resonates. So let's get off the recent past because I know a lot of you are saying, oh, please, let's stick with the future. <laughs> No more of the past. You're over it, I know. Let's talk about what's coming up for the present time. We've got this Six of Swords, and it's with the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Swords, I like this card because it's about 
things being better than they had been. It's about resolution. Any problems that you had, they're being solved. It's Six of Swords is about recovery. Um, it's showing a great time to travel. It can indicate metaphorical movement, a change in where you are inwardly. And usually the, the change is for the better, whether the context is internal or external. So it's about thinking where you want to be. Six, it shows a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect for you yet, but they are going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So it's going to be, it's going to feel like you're taking this time coming up, just taking your time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break, change of scenery, it's going to be helpful. And this doesn't have to cost money. Now, the Six of Swords is with the Six of Pentacles, which is a great card in the tarot. It show, it's also showing um, things turning for the better. It could be with regards to money, because when you hear the word Pentacles, that's money, cash, coins, finance. It's one of the more positive Pentacle cards. It speaks of fairness, equality, and the... And the nature of life, yeah. So when you get this card, you are likely to be heading in a really positive cycle. Not just a positive day, not just a positive time, but a whole chapter in your life, a cycle. The Six of Pentacles, it's a card about generosity. And it could mean that you're about to become the beneficiary. Or you could be the giver of something of value. So it's about sharing what you have. There's always someone who needs it. We all know that we get what we give out. Whatever you put out to people, whatever you put out to the universe, it comes right back to you. So basically, with these two cards paired together, Six of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, it looks like you could, you could have been in stormy waters with someone, um, but it looks like you're making peace. You could be making peace with someone or someone wants to make peace with you um, and just move into calmer waters. That's what they're doing in that in that boat. You see the boat with the two people in it, the card that's above the word present. That's the six of swords. These people are just sailing in smooth waters now. They might have just got out of a storm. So maybe someone that you're at odds with, all of a sudden you move into calmer waters with this person. There's no more fighting. Uh, you two just come together in a peaceful way. So there could be some resolution, uh, maybe even reconciliation. But it's about Six of Swords. It's about moving into calmer waters. And once you do that, um, things go really good for you. This could be the person that you're a love interest or someone that you're dealing with. And if you know you're not dealing with anyone, it could be a family member or a friend. But for most of you, it's a it's a love interest. Maybe the person that you're um, with already. Like I said, once you to um, go through this resolution period, then the relationship becomes really good. It prospers because you got the Six of Pentacles, and that's about prosperity. So. Capricorns, if you're in storm, stormy waters with someone or things are just not good with you and someone, you you just might want to try reconciliation. Try to be at peace with someone. Make um, some type of resolution. Offer resolution with someone that you're at odds with because it's saying that now is a good time. It will turn into a really good, healthy relationship and the connection will prosper. So you'll benefit from coming out of stormy waters with someone and they will benefit in a really great way. It's saying you could be the beneficiary of something of value. But it looks like you need to come out of stormy waters with someone. And, um, yeah, reconcile maybe. And then you move into calmer waters. So that's a good thing. So make peace with someone or someone could be trying to make peace with you coming up. 
towards the maybe the end of August or maybe soon because this is a August reading but it's for the third week of August so that's a really really good thing things turn out really well so let's see what the challenge is now we got the king of swords and we also have the king of pentacles now this king of swords it's actually known as a narcissistic type it's standing for a very powerful opinionated forceful man that could be in your life he will but not always have hair on the darker end of the spectrum you may be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally particularly when this card is not representing a man in your life. So you might need to consider the feelings of others before you act. This King of Swords is pointing to, like I said, a very, very forceful energy. So you may not be able to get someone in your life to change his mind or to do what you want. You may need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and or expectations, but don't overextend your reach. So you're dealing with someone who's very strong, forceful, opinionated. This person probably oversteps their bounds with you. And this this uh, King of Swords, like I said, is known as a narcissistic type. And they will mistreat you. So you, unfortunately, some of you Capricorns are dealing with someone like this. Now, it's with the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is about success. Could be with money matters. Because like I said, when you hear the word pinnacles, it's money, cash, coins, finance, income. So King of Pinnacles, when he appears in a reading, it's a sign that now is not. It's definitely not a time to be a maverick. It's a time to follow the established way of doing things. So when he stands for actual person in your life, it's referring to a very masculine type. Could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. If it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is a man who you can believe in and trust absolutely. King of Pentacles, it's a it's a really good card to get in a reading. Uh, just a side note about this King of Pentacles, uh, when it comes to love questions, someone may uh, be coming towards you. This type of person might want to sweep you off your feet. So, um... So someone could be, if you're wondering if someone is going to reach out to you, uh, yes, they will. And this person is is probably going to be really good for you because the King of Pentacles is, like I said, it's about success. So this person could be a, a businessman type of person, uh, someone who has a career. They could be really career focused. Um, this type of person, the King of Pentacles, uh, it's about security, commitment or they're secure and committed. Uh, King of Pentacles is a good father type, very stable type. So why is this a challenge, the King of Pentacles and the King of Swords? Because it looks like you've got someone coming up or you're dealing with someone that's like this King of Swords, really narcissistic type, very forceful. This person will mistreat you or you have been mistreated by this person. They overstep their bounds. But the thing is that they want success with you, Capricorns. You got somebody that wants to secure and commit this connection and you probably don't know it because the King of Swords, they don't really show emotion. No, because they, they're, too, they're too all about them. Uh, King of Swords can be really arrogant. Um, it's about me, 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 me. I, 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 I. Kind of self-centered. And um, like I said, this person could be mistreating you or not treating you the way you think they should. Very forceful. They overstep their bounds. A lot of times they use their head over their heart. But you, like I said, you probably don't know it, but this person wants to secure and commit this connection with you and they probably know that they have issues being narcissistic so they they could be wanting to work on that but some people say there's no hope for a narcissist <laughs> but uh i don't know some people say there's no hope for them but uh i think anything is possible now it's like I said, it's with this good card, a really, really great card, the King of Pentacles. So I'm saying that this person may try to work on his 
his um flaws because it's with the king of it's the card is paired with the king of pinnacles someone who's a really good father type really stable so this person wants to do right by you put it that way they want to do right by you they want to make this connection work they want success with you they want to secure it commit it and like i said you probably don't know it but i'm here to tell you this person they they want to be with you and they want to do better they may have a hard time doing it though because like i said people say this type of energy is kind of like embedded in them it's really hard for this type of person narcissist to change but i believe that anything is possible so that's your challenge you got someone that that likes you i think this person likes you and they want to secure a connection or commit something with you but they got this really forceful kind of cold type of energy so that's a challenge now let's move away from that or we might have to come back to it once we find out what the outcome is but for now we see the outcome is the eight of cups and the nine of cups oh we got some cups here nine of cups is beautiful it's just short of one cup to get the ten of cups nine of cups is really good it's about being blessed and satisfied now this eight of cups the card that's above the word outcome it's different than the nine of cups eight of cups it's showing that you probably will choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you whether it's a relationship job a neighborhood there could be some sadness involved but this separation it's it's showing it's in your best interest when you get the Eight of Cups. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead for you. If your gut is telling you that you need to get out of a relationship, job, living arrangement, trust yourself. Also, instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who will make the choice. When one door closes, just know another door will open. Yeah. So... Very often, one door has to close behind before the next door in front of you can fully open. So, like I said, it's paired with this beautiful Nine of Cups. Very uplifting, pleasant card to receive in a reading. It's known as a wish card. It can mean that what you're hoping for or dreaming about is most likely to be yours in a really brief period of time. The appearance of this card is usually about happiness, good things to come. It also means that what you want is likely to come into being in your life if you're asking a yes or no type of question. It's the most powerful indicator of yes. So someone has very strong desire. That's what the Nine of Cups is about. And it's, it's about feeling blessed and satisfied. So Capricorn, the outcome, I'm picking up that a lot of you, you're going to choose to walk away from this forceful person that's in your life from someone who oversteps their bounds like this king of swords could be a narcissist they want to have success with you but it looks like you're you're either planning to walk away or you're you're out of there this person was um seeing this connection or this person felt very blessed and satisfied to have you this person, they also have a very strong desire for you. They see you as their wish come true. But it looks like you're out of there. That's what the Eight of Cups is about. Walking away. Leaving behind. Looks like you're withdrawing. You're moving on. Or you could be thinking about that. But this person's got a lot of mojo for you but you probably don't like their for forceful energy you probably don't like the way they treat you a lot of times so it looks like you're moving on you're moving on you're moving on 